He said, if you want to be happy, if you want to be satisfied, want to be fulfilled and at peace, then you can be. Really? Yes. Just follow me and do this. Admit that you need God. Cry for others. Please. Help us. Show love. Be obedient. <laughs> Seek God. If you want happiness, don't seek it. Look for God instead. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. This is about salt and light. Why did Jesus pick salt and light? Let's think about salt. He's only interested in one dimension of salt. There are lots of things that salt gets used for. But he's clearly got in mind, because he talks about the salt losing its flavour, he's clearly got in mind what salt does to food. That it, it enhances, lifts the flavour. Now, you and I know, because uh, we're constantly told by the people who try to keep us healthy, that you can have too much salt. Yeah. So, salt is something of which only a small amount is required to make a really noticeable difference. And the other thing about salt is that you don't see it when it's making that difference. If you can see the salt in your food, you're in trouble. <laughs> you don't want to see it. It needs to be just mixed in or just lightly on the surface and just has dissolved into the rest of the food. So you don't want to see it. It needs to be hidden. It needs to be invisible. So he's talking about something that is small, that's hidden under the surface doing its job, making a difference, without making a show of it. So that's salt. But what about light? If you can have too much salt, you can't really have too much light. And I suppose some circumstances you can, but we're often saying, it's not light enough, or I can't see, can we have more light? Can we have more light, please? Turn on more lights. Light is visible. It shows, it shows up other things. The fact that we have light means we can see each other here in this room, where otherwise there would be no light, and we wouldn't be able to see. So it helps 
things be displayed, be evident. While salt is doing its job hidden, light does its job only when it's not hidden, when it's not under the bushel, but in full sight and lifted up high. So Jesus wants us to be salt and light, making a difference by something hidden and making a difference by something that everyone can see. What does he mean? Well, virtually in the same breath, or at least in the breath before, Jesus talks about, as we've just seen wonderfully dramatized, talks about being blessed or happy. And let's, let's take those Beatitudes as words that Jesus is saying to his disciples, as he said then, saying to us, blessed are you when, blessed are you when. Let's take those as words to us. I want us to imagine and think about some of those being examples of being salt and some of those being examples of being light. By which I mean some of them are hidden gifts, hidden qualities that are inside us but which somehow we live out, often without realising it but which we need to pay attention to without making a big show of them. So we don't, for example, to take another word that's not in there, we don't go around saying how humble we are. Do we? It's hidden. It's not seen, but it is a vital part of how we respond to Jesus' love. So some are hidden, some we don't proclaim, some we don't draw attention to and yet are there and make a vital difference. <clears throat> Others, of course, are evident, are lived out, and we've got plenty of examples downstairs of examples of light being lifted up, of people working in a way that is evidently displaying and living out Jesus' love. So, we are sought and we are loved. And the Beatitudes, I think, are about different ways in which we are each called and together called to be salt and light. Hidden qualities and outward active engagement. We need to attend to both. We can't have one without the other. Those hidden qualities, the purity of heart, the meekness, we attend to by our prayerful attention to our relationship with God. By giving ourselves, giving our lives, giving all of whom we are to God. But also actively then expressing that, living it out in a variety of ways, many of them risky ways, that can result in persecution or at least being made fun of, or being mocked, or being discounted, but nevertheless for us to pursue faithfully. We attend to both, to being salt and being light. Both are vital. Both are how we live Christ's life-changing presence in the world. And precious Father, we bless these stones as they represent each Christian community gathered here. Let them be a symbol of the love, support and commitment to enable us to continue to grow together. Build us, Lord, to be the body of Christ. Mm -hmm.